Yes, good morning and welcome to this live session. I want you to come and draw with me. So have you got your pen? Have you got your paper? Because come to my studio. We are at Ground Level Studios, my studio at home. Why is it called Ground Level Studios, I hear you ask? Because it's at the ground level of my house. So how this session works, I need you to tell me what to draw. Oh, magic of television. So you can tell me what to draw and I will draw it live. But here's the thing. I want you to come and draw with me. So I want you to grab some pencils, grab some paper and draw some pictures. And who knows, if you show me, you could win a prize. But I'll explain that a bit later. So we're going to start with our... No, I didn't get the plan right. Now, if you want to become a cartoon crusader like me, it's easy. Pick up your draw sword, whether it's a pencil or a Sharpie. And you can like me on Facebook um, where there's... These sessions, there's different sessions. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, but, but the main one, YouTube, that's full of how to draw videos. So if you want to draw a bit better, become a cartoon crusader, jump on YouTube, check out those videos, and you'll learn to draw that little bit better. But I'm sure you're awesome anyway, because nobody can draw like you, legend. All right, we're going to start with our warm-up picture. Now, this warm-up picture came from last week's Draw and Show Bag winner. His name was Harry. Harry, I've met Harry. He's an absolute superstar, legend of a little man. And he said, can you draw a cow on a rocket flying to the moon made of cheese? And I thought, what better moon could there be but then a, but other than a moon made of cheese? So let's draw a cow on a rocket ship flying to the moon made of cheese. All right, so let's do it. Now, we're going to start with the eyes. I love starting with the eyes because the eyes are, win are the window to the soul, they reckon. So to draw the eyebrows, here we have the eyebrows. We're gonna draw the Moo Moo nose. Moo Moo noses are exclusively for cows. And a draw these other eyes because it's always good to have two eyes because if you've got two eyes that you can see things doubly as good so we're going to draw the other eyebrow there we have we might give this cow a, i think they're called a cowbell we're going to draw these cow ears Um, some little dainty cow horns. Draw his little puff of hair up there. I think we might give this cow a bit of an eye patch thingy. I might colour that in. You don't want to go too black, otherwise you can't see his eyes. So just give some light shading. 
to the KLA. Now, it's a very important fact that this cow is flying to the moon, so he needs to have a space helmet on. So we're going to draw him with a space helmet. That is the second time, well, okay, third time, I've drawn on my new whiteboard with a permanent marker. Never suggest using a permanent marker on a whiteboard because it doesn't rub off, and it defeats the purpose of having a whiteboard to begin with. All right, so we're drawing... His space helmet, and now we're going to draw his space suit. He's the first cow ever to get a job with NASA. How do you spell NASA? Uh, N A S A, I think. Uh, circular logo. He's holding on for dear life because, due to budget restrictions, they couldn't give him a rocket with a cabin. He's, he just has to hold on. Due to budget restrictions, they couldn't house his tail in the, uh, the space outfit because uh, he's oxygen tank. Um, I don't know how to spell oxygen, so I'm just going to write air. Um, going to do his pipe. There we have his pipe. Awesome. Now we're going to draw the rocket. You must have very good grip if you're holding onto a rocket. Superstar. Draw some flames coming out of there. Now, the important moon made of cheese, so we're going to draw maybe some Swiss cheese on the markings on the moon here. And draw some holes. Um, we might have a bit of camembert sitting there. Um, Melting mozzarella off the off the moon there. Um, um, we might make the stars made of crackers because in space, who wouldn't want cheese and crackers? All right, so there we have, and we'll draw the Earth here. We'll draw the mighty Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, oi, oi! New Zealand. Oh, we're corona free. No, you're not. You've got a couple of cases uh, for all the um, rest of the world. We might draw some space, make it a bit dark. And there we have our warm up picture. That is a cow on a rocket on the way to the moon made of cheese. There's Swiss cheese, there's cheddar cheese, there's brie cheese, there's camembert, um, there's mozzarella, um, whatever cheese you want, it's on the moon. And the crackers, so if you want a bit of the moon, you can grab a star, crack that off, eat some moon. Happy days. All right, make sure you sign your name. Very important, if your name isn't Nick, don't sign Nick because that's not your name. That's my name. But if your name is Nick, then it's all good. All right, there we have picture number one for the day, our warm-up picture. Let's show that to the screen. We have a cow on a rocket going to the moon made of cheese. Now, do we have any comments yet, Tali? Oh, I've got one comment. Oh, we've got heaps of comments. Awesome. Um, what suggestions do we have there, Tali? Do we have any suggestions yet? Because we need a suggestion for picture number one. Oh, how this works, let's go back in time. Let's go back to the uh, the uh, the banner things, Tali. I've got a new producer, my daughter Tali, doing a sterling job on the screen. Um, uh, just click brand for me, mate. That'd be great. Yeah. And then put up um, a draw and show bag one. No, don't let out the winner. So here's the thing. If you draw a picture during these sessions, you can win a prize. So if you post a picture to, on my Facebook page or you private message me or you email to laugh at nicklovescartoons.com.au, um, um, this week I've seen some amazing pictures. Um, I think her name was Emma sent me some pictures. Um, I got a picture um, from Piper. What a great job Piper did of a crazy flower. She just, I, it was one of the pictures that we drew last week was a crazy flower. But the winner of this week's Draw and Show Bag, drum roll please. The winner is Lucy. Lucy drew some fantastic pictures this week. Um, the one I love the most, right, she, she sent a few pictures through. 
um, one picture she drew was a, a group of pickles at the club. Um, they weren't socially distinct, distancing, but that's okay because it's a picture, it's make-believe. Nobody gets corona in a cartoon. Um, she also drew a dog in space, which was really cool. But the picture I loved the most was this we werewolf. I'll point to it. Werewolf. It's not really there, you see. It's an imaginary land. But she drew a werewolf. I love imaginary creatures. Um, gremlins, um, vampires, um, Donald Trump, anything that's imaginary, I love those people. Uh, I love those things. Um, so, Lucy, you are today's winner of the draw and show bag. What do you get in a draw and show bag? I hear you ask. Here we have a bag with a hand-drawn label. The, the Lucy, this is what you win. Uh, you win the pictures from last week's draw and show. Sorry, from last week's live session. Um, you get some textures that look like brushes. So it's like you're painting, but it's not because they're textures. Um, you get some pencils. I'll show you the pencils that you get. You get the colourful pencils. Um with all the colors you get this cool pencil thing with a grip it's got a grip thing so you can get a grip on your picture you get a, a draw sword Woo, what a great draw sword that is and you also get a lolly happy meal so there you go lucy in the lolly happy meal you get um a lolly drink a lolly burger lolly chips and a um lolly not a lolly eraser you don't want to eat them um they are racers they're little monkeys two little monkeys um but because piper drew some pictures and she's your sister i'm going to include for piper for putting a picture in um a lolly happy meal for you so that'll go into the draw show draw and show bag for you guys and thanks so much for tuning in and participating in the live sessions thank you for coming and drawing with, drawing with me i appreciate it i've had so much fun uh looking at your pictures it made me laugh and giggle so we need some suggestions i've got five spots up here on my wonderful whiteboard we need to fill them in with suggestions tali do we have any suggestions yeah. um uh click show what do you got there what's that one Click, click, let me help, click. All right, a chomping garbage spitting out rubbish. Maybe we should have checked that before we click that one. Uh, chomping garbage, how about we click another one? A cat ladybug lifting weights, I don't mind that. All right, suggestion number one, a cat ladybug. Lifting weights. Great suggestion there from Julie. What else have we got there, Tali? Um, Mason wants to know if you can draw a dinosaur riding a motorbike. Yes, I can, Mason. Um, we we will draw a draw a motorbike, a draw a dinosaur, dinosaur riding. A motorbike. All right. Suggestion number three. Do we have any more suggestions? Um, Jackson here. Jackson is a former winner of a draw and show bag, an absolute superstar. He would like a cookie sitting on a bench drinking milk. Uh, cookie sitting on a bench drinking. Milk, what a great suggestion, Jackson. You're an absolute superstar. Uh, what else we got, Tarlo? Whoa. Um, Charlotte and Matilda, you absolute superstars, would like an astronaut worm. What a great suggestion. An astronaut. I'll have to look at the screen because I don't know how to spell astronaut. I like to draw. I can't spell. Astronaut. I don't even think that's how you spell it right. And I... Okay. Astronaut Worm, what a fantastic suggestion. And do we have one more suggestion? All right. We have one spot left for your suggestions. So get your suggestions in and uh, you could be the fifth spot on the whiteboard.
But having said that, even if you don't get picked today, you might be the warm-up pitcher for next week. So let's get started with pitch number one. Um, let's take that suggestion off. Oh, Paul R. Smith. I used to work with Paul. Paul, how are you, mate? You're a legend. He's now a tinter of cars and other such shenanigans. Um, he His daughter would like a unicorn dancing. So let's draw that. Sorry, let's write that in as picture number five, unicorn dancing. What a fantastic suggestion. But feel free to keep your suggestions coming in because it could be the warm-up picture for next week. All right. Let's go to picture number one. How do I know it's picture number one? Because there's a one up in the corner. We are going to get the clip just to get a handle on things. Clip it in. Make sure it's safe and secure. So we are going to draw a cat ladybug. So it's kind of like a, um, a hybrid animal, a cat v ladybug setup. Um, so we are going to draw. I'll always like to start with the eyes. We'll draw some beautiful eyes. Nice big eyes. All the better to see you with. We're going to draw a cat nose. Because I think it's important to make it look like both and give it features of both a cat and a ladybug. All right, so it's going to be a lifting weight, so we're going to make it grit its teeth. I'm so strong in a cat voice. Oh, man, I'm so strong. Oh, sorry, a cat ladybug voice. So we'll give it the catness here. We'll give it some whiskers. We may, let's give it to the cat ears. There's a lot of cat at the minute. We're going to have to start putting some ladybug in. Our rod's going to bug me. <laughs> All right, let's give it the ladybug antennas. No, no, no. Aliens also have antennas. Are they playing on them? Um, lifting weights. Um, so we're going to give it some weights. I think they're called dumbbells, these are called. Don't know, haven't looked at any. Oh, very strong. Look at the muscles on this cat ladybug thing. All right. Now yeah, we're going to give it some ladybug wings. Actually, hey, Tali, can you pass me a red texter from over there? Thanks, mate. Going to colour in the dots. Feet. All right, red dots. Oh, like magic. Colour in the, the red wings, make it look ladybuggish. So even though this cat ladybug is in lockdown, still lifting some weights, still keeping active, still keeping fit. And that's the main thing, isn't it? That we all need to keep fit. So that is picture number one, a cat ladybug. I would say that's a perfect picture. And uh, well, let's write your name. My name's Nick. Nice to meet you. And that is picture number one. What we'll do, if you want to continue to draw, I would love you to draw a cat ladybug. So what we might do, we might click this picture over here so you can keep ha having a look whilst we do the next picture. Is that still on screen? Yes, we'll go a bit because I need to keep some room for me. All right, picture number two. So we've done this picture, so let's tick. What a new feature. A running list. That's amazing. Uh, we are now going to draw a dinosaur riding a motorbike. 
you know, I always thought if you said my name really quick and a lot, it sounds like a motorbike. Like, neat, 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 neat. Little known fact. So let's draw a dinosaur. I had an idea for a dinosaur character. He's a cartoonist and he was called um, Try and Draw Us Rex. Try and Draw Us Rex. That's funny. One time this guy fell off his motor, motorbike and he was dino saw. Really dino saw. Yeah, he's big teeth. I didn't realise they had motorbikes back in prehistoric times, but apparently they did. So in your imagination, anything's possible. How can he reach the handlebars? His arms are so little. He'll manage. He's got a number four. G Wanganine, three boats. All you Essendon supporters out there should know who G Wanganine is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My all-time hero footballer. Um, is Gavin Wanganine, and my daughter got to meet him. I'm so jealous, not happy, <laughs> not happy, Jan. All right, motorbike, wheels, gotta make them really good. Spokes. Dinosaur arms, dinosaur legs. Claws over the pedal. His <laughs> little dinosaur tail. Oh, the tails he could tell. Oh, look, I can sit here a bit and you see the picture a bit better. That makes some small sense. First time using my whiteboard for a live session. All right, so we'll draw some smoke coming out of his motorbike. He's just jumped over a volcano. I don't recommend that. If you're going to motorbike, please don't jump over volcanoes. Um, draw some palm trees in. Just a quick question. How have you gone drawing a cat ladybug lifting weights? I'd love to see it. Get on it. Get some paper. Get a pencil. Get a Sharpie. Um, uh, crayons. If you like drawing in dirt, d draw it in dirt. Um, whatever you like. So here we have jumping over a volcano. And there we have it. We'll draw the sun up in the sky because, well, my picture moved and made my wiggly lines go wiggly up. There's the sun. So there we have picture number two. <coughs> picture number two. We have a dinosaur riding a motorbike. He's just jumped over a, oh, look, we might. Do some more lines. He's just jumped over a um, volcano. Do we have any comments of anybody liking that picture, Tali? Do I know comments? There we go. Cool. Someone commented. So that is a dinosaur riding a motorbike. That is picture number two. So I'll just put that over here so you guys can play catch up for you. Um, that is a dinosaur riding a motorbike. All right. Get my red. See, the problem I have is my permanent marker and my whiteboard markers look exactly the same, and I get confused. Um, Chick, now, we are going to draw a cookie sitting on a bench drinking milk. What a great drink to drink. Milk, I love milk. Um, chocolate milk, banana milk, um, plain milk. Plain milk isn't from a plane. You can't milk a plane. Just saying that. Um, we are going to draw a cookie sitting on a bench drinking milk. Draw the eyes 
eyes, 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 and the eyes have it. Um, we're going to draw a him sucking on a straw. Now, drinking milk. There wasn't any specific um, request on the type of milk. He didn't say plain milk. He didn't say anything, really. So, in honour of my amazing daughter, um, Choc Oak, quite possibly the greatest milk. Uh, banana Oak's pretty good, too. But for the sake of the picture... Um, it makes sense. This guy's going to be a chocolate chip cookie. So to drink chocolate milk makes absolutely perfect sense. Right. Give him some little cookie arms. Make him a bit crumbly. Give him some legs. Give him some shoes. Because... Um, if you've got cookie feet, if you don't wear shoes, you just crumble, especially if you go over rocks. That's not good. If you're a cookie walking over rocks. Here we have his shoes. Now we've got to draw the bench. Now, there was a press release from Dan Andrews saying that if you're a cookie, um, you don't need to be in lockdown. So he's been exempt from the lockdown rules because cookies don't get coronavirus, so they're okay. I'm no scientist, but I don't think they do. Draw some chocolate chips. Oh, you've got to be careful being a, a cookie. What's this dude doing? Oh, no. It's an evil, evil magpie. You can't trust a magpie. You draw his evil beak, steam coming out of his ears. This is a an evil magpie. Let's let's say everyone, let's make it clear, evil magpie. Let's draw that in for his branch. Oh no, how's this going to end for the poor cookie? Dun, 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 So here we have a cookie drinking some chocolate oak milk, but in the tree is an evil meat pie. He's looking to swoop down and start pecking at the cookie and eat him. This wise up. I think what we'll do to help the cookie out, if in the event of a magpie swooping to eat him, to protect himself, we'll give him a cricket bat. So ward off any swooping magpies. Uh, Nick Love 2020, because it is 2020. So there we have picture number three, a cookie drinking some oak milk with a evil magpie going to swoop. We've given him, yes, we've given him a cricket bat to protect himself. Now, I don't condone hurting animals, um, but if you're going to get eaten alive by an um, evil magpie, I'm, I'm okay with you maybe taking a few swings at the evil magpie if you are a cookie being eaten. All right, there's that picture. We'll put that over there so you guys can continue drawing. Um, love to see your version of that picture. We're up to picture number four. Oh, but before we do, we must tick off the cookie picture. Oh, yeah. Love this suggestion. <laughs> An astronaut worm. All right. So let's draw an astronaut worm. We're going to start with the eyes. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Sounds like a start of an actual song. Uh, We've had a few space themes today. Astronaut worm. Mm. 
worms have those funny looking band things. It's like a band aid type look. An astronaut worm. We'll give him his space helmet. Now, NASA actually gave this worm a spaceship with a cockpit. So that's, that's good of them. So we'll draw the buttons. There's a big U stick or joystick to steer it. Um, good panel. Um, there's the mission control bit. And again, I've drawn on my whiteboard with a permanent marker. Um, it's got a big uh, window to see out of, of his cockpit. He's a very good astronaut. But he has a very good question. I don't think NASA has thought everything through. Um, he's asking the question, how am I going to steer? I have no arms. That's more of a, a point he's making. Bit of an oversight from NASA. They're generally pretty smart. And I think to really emphasize the no, we might give that a bit of red. Oh no, he's used a white ball, I shouldn't have done that. <coughs> so there we have picture number four. Picture number four. One, two, three, four. Um, a worm astronaut, um, but he just can't fly the spaceship because he has no arms. Um, he can never ro rob a bank because he's unarmed. <laughs> Thank you for that laugh, Tali. Tali's my sitcom laughter. <laughs> All right, let's tick that off. And our last picture for the day. Oh, I can't. This has gone really quick today. This is one of the. This is what happens when you get assistance on the my producer Tali. What a legend. Picture number five. Number five is alive. Great movie, Short Circuit. It's about a robot that comes alive. I used to love it. Great movie. Um, what was it? A unicorn dancing. Um, I'm a great dancer. My whole family will tell you that I am by far the greatest dancer known to man. Check out those moves. Watch this. Don't even know what it is. Don't have a name for it. Um, I'm going to draw a unicorn dancing. I'm going to start again with the eyes, 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 eyes. What I might do in the coming weeks, I have so many suggestions for unicorns. I might put a how to draw video up on how to draw a unicorn. Because I was about to say, if you know how to draw a horse, you can draw a unicorn, just add a horn. But if you don't know how to draw a horse, how do you draw a unicorn? So maybe I show you how to draw a horse, then it becomes a unicorn. Huh, makes perfect sense. So look out for that. That video is coming. That's in the pipeworks. Alright, it's always oh sorry, his or hers unicorn horn. Let's make it a hair. We've had a lot of blokey things today, I feel. Um, lovely mane. That's the main thing. Beautiful mane. Ooh, I got a lovely mane. Mane. <laughs> mane. Mane. Um, what's that dance where they go something um, with that arm that way oh flossy let's make it floss hips are that way the other arm is that way I'm not sure that's how you floss at all
Might not for our dance. So the arm goes that way. We'll do an arrow. So you can do this dance at home. One arm goes that way, the other arm goes that way, and your leg goes that way. And then yeah. <laughs> your tail goes up that way. Everybody do the unicorn. Is it dead on your feet? Everybody do the unicorn. It's the new dance. It's the unicorn dance. Everybody do the unicorn. Sing the logo. All right, that is picture number five. Saw down, eh? Nick Love 2020. I'm going to run for president. I'm calling you. Yeah. All right, there we have picture number five. That is, let's show everybody there in the land of the land of people watching. Uh, there's a unicorn dancing. So let's recap on the five pictures that we've drawn today. So there we have picture number five. The unicorn doing the unicorn dance. What an amazing dance that is right there. Um, picture number four, we drew an astronaut worm that can't um, fly his spaceship because he has no arms, because he's armed. He could never rob a bank, which is a good thing. You don't want worms robbing banks. Um, here we have a cookie drinking some oak milk on a bench whilst an evil magpie is looking to eat him. But we've given him a <laughs> cricket bat to protect himself. It's just for protection. We don't condone hitting animals because I love animals. Speaking of which, I'm going to talk about animals in just a second. Here we have a dinosaur riding a motorbike um, over a, he jumped over a volcano. Um, I think he burnt his tail a little bit, a little bit. And the first picture we drew today was an amazing suggestion. It's a cat ladybug um, doing weights, lifting weights, keeping fit in lockdown. And our warm-up picture from the legend that is Harry, a cow from NASA on a rocket on the way to the cheesy moon. So, guys, get drawing. I'd love to see your versions of that pictures but if you've got your own ideas you go nick i don't want to draw anything you drew today that's cool draw something else maybe you can draw a werewolf or pickles at a party um like lucy did whatever you want to draw i would love to see it um but stay tuned tomorrow we have a special event let's put the special event up ah oh, there we go the mouse isn't working um, it might have gone asleep, might have gone flat. We have a special event tomorrow. We're crossing out to Black Snake Productions where we are going to draw the five most epic animals. I'm not going to tell you what those animals are. going to be a surprise. Um, could it be a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Probably not because they're extinct. Um, could it be a woolly mammoth? Same deal. They're extinct. But I tell you what, these animals are going to be epic. But here's the deal. They really need our help out there. Um, so what we're going to do for every picture that you draw, not I draw, you draw and you show me, we are going to donate $2 for every picture you draw to Black Snake Productions. So, you know, you might buy um, a dingo. <gasps> I'll let one of the animals out. Oops. You might, you might buy them some food. Um, there might be other cool animals, but stay tuned um, tomorrow for our very, very special event uh, where we draw five epic animals. So this is a very special come and draw with Nick. Um, I love animals and these animals are so cool. I met some of them. Um, actually, I met all of them. Um, but we're going to cross out there because we can't go anywhere because of COVID because we're in lockdown. But this is the magic of technology. We're going to cross to Michael and Ebbs uh, and the, the team out there and meet some animals and draw them and have a lot of fun. So tune in 3 o'clock tomorrow um, on the Facebook Live uh, feed or on YouTube and uh, let's have a lot of fun. So until tomorrow... And if you can't make tomorrow because uh, maybe you're washing your hair, but I, I, I encourage you to put that off. Do something else. Watch us tomorrow at 3 o'clock as we draw these animals. But if you can't do that, tune in next week at 9.30 as we um, draw again. And again, come and draw with Nick. And uh, let's all draw together. Until next time, see ya. And uh, can't wait to see your pictures.